College Algebra, Topic 4.2, Solving Polynomial Equations. We're going to solve this polynomial equation. First, we'll notice that it's to the fourth power. The highest power is 4. That means there are four solutions, um, possible solutions for this. So let's get those ready here. x equals, x equals, x equals, and x equals. Now, to begin finding the solutions, we start with the rational solutions. The rational solutions will always come from the combination of the constant, the positive constant, over the leading coefficient, which is 1. So 2 over 1 could be one of the um, rational solutions. To find other rational solutions, we will take factors of 2. So numbers that go into 2 would be 1. So 1 over 1 is a possibility. So now we have two possibilities, 2 and 1. And to increase our possibilities, we'll consider the negatives as well. So we now we have four possibilities. So we're going uh, um, to see if x equals 1, we'll try 1 first, is one of the first, uh, is, is um, a possible solution. To check that out, we're going to use um, synthetic division with the use of the remainder theorem. So the remainder theorem uses synthetic division to see if the remainder is 0. And that'll let us know if we can put 1 in here and all this will become 0. So we'll take the coefficients from the x uh, from the polynomial, which is 1 for the x to the fourth, 0 for the x to the third, negative 2 for the x to the second, negative 3 for the x, and then the constant, 2. We'll put a line under here, and everything above this line will add to the top line. Everything below this line will multiply with 1. And we always start off with 0. So we'll add these two. 1 added to 0 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 0 added to 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Negative 2 added to 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. Negative 3 added to negative 1 is negative 4. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. And negative 2 added to a negative 4 is negative 6. Well, since the remainder did not come out to be 0, this is not a solution of this um, polynomial. So let's keep working. Let's try now x is negative 1. That's one of the possibilities we can use the positive or the negative. So we'll put our coefficients back 1, 0, negative 2, negative 3, negative 2. And we're going to test for negative 1 being a solution. So again, we start off with 0. 1 added to 0 is 1. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. 0 added to negative 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Negative 2 added to a 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Negative 3 added to a positive 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 times a negative 1 is 2. Negative 2 added to a 2 is 0. Since we have a 0 remainder, the remainder theorem says that this is a solution or 0 of the original. So we have one solution, x equals negative 1. Now, we're going to start from this polynomial right here, these terms right here, to see if we can find any more solutions. So we tried 1, we tried negative 1, let's now try 2. So we'll put 2 next to these remaining terms here and begin the process again. Okay, 0 here. And 1 added to 0 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. Negative 1 added to 2 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. Negative 1 added to 2 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. And negative 2 added to 2 is 0. So since this remainder ended up being 0, this is also a solution. So we have two solutions now, negative 1 and 2. Now the remaining terms here, this is now a third degree polynomial, um, a second degree polynomial, a quadratic should I say, represented by 1x squared plus x plus 1. So our polynomial has reduced from the fourth degree to the third degree, now to the second degree. And we're going to set this equal to 0 and solve this as a quadratic. This does not factor, so I'm going to use the quadratic equation which is the opposite of b, which is negative 1, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 1 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 1, and c, which is also 1, all over 2 times a, which is 2 times 1. All right, from here, I'm going to multiply first, or use my find my powers first. So the 1 squared is 1. 
the negative 4 times 1 times 1 is negative 4. I guess this is a little overextended. We don't need this to be that far. So let's erase that. Okay. And then 2 times 1 is 2. Okay, we can simplify the numer numerator to a square root of negative 3. And furthermore, the negative 3 can, oh, over 2. The negative 3 can be factored into two pieces. Negative 1 times 3. The negative 1, the square root of negative 1, can be replaced with an i. Everything's so over 2 here. So, what we actually have is a negative 1 plus or minus. We simplify that to i, and the square root of 3 remains, all over 2. So, one of the solutions, let's see, if I were to split this up into two pieces, we can say this is going to be negative 1 half plus i square root of 3 all over 2, and a negative 1 half minus i square root of 3 all over 2. And this, and this combination that has the i in it, this is a complex answer. So we have two answers that are um, rational and two answers that are complex. A total of four solutions for this polynomial.